first title fight is in Japan. GGG. Golovkin, Murata. Boom! I think Murata is a bit overrated as a, as a, as a prize fighter. Um, matter of fact, it's one of the bigger overrated guys. But I don't, I don't, I don't think of, when I think of him overrated, I don't think of him, I don't think of him directly because he's not in the U.S. and he's not really making a big storm in the U.S. But in Japan, he's got a big, big name. And honestly, I don't think he's got the stuff to actually have a major world title. I know he won that secondary world title uh, not that long ago. Uh, but I don't think he is uh, the caliber of a major world champion. Uh, I think he's he's a good fighter. He, he had success at the Olympics, right? What was he? Did he win a gold medal at the Olympics? He was a I'm, Japanese I'm Olympian. Sure. He was very good at the Olympics. I met him, actually, when I was in Tokyo. Nice kid. Uh, you know, developed into a relatively good fighter, but I, I just don't think... Uh, even an older GGG, I think, beats Murata uh, rather handily. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see the fight. And we'll also, uh, it'll also allow us to gauge uh, where GGG is at in terms of... Is he, how far past his prime is he at this age? You know, interesting enough because uh, it'll be a big, big fight in uh, in Japan. Isn't, isn't Golovkin half Korean himself? <laughs> Whoa! I, right. I think I think, uh, I think Golovkin is a uh, is a. Uh, is, is partially, I think his mom is, 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 is Korean. I know, I know Beeble is half Asian. I, it's, I don't know if uh, Golovkin for sure is, but I think I've heard that as well. So uh, who knows? Maybe there'll, have, there'll be some fans there too. The fight is in Japan, you know, the whole uh, camaraderie thing. We'll see, you know, but uh, good schedule. Golovkin Murata starts thing, the, the, the April festivities, the April fireworks out with uh, Golovkin and Murata. What, what does that mean for, trip, for Triple, Triple G? G? He wants to look good. He's looking for the Canelo fight, which they're talking about again. Uh, I think that fight happens regardless of whether Canelo beats Bebo, um or not. Uh, I, think it's, uh, I think it's a good fight. I think it's a, it's a fight. I, I do think it's a little bit past Golovkin's prime to get there, but I did call that. I called that. I, I, I said when, once Canelo got the win, I said he's not. He's, they're gonna, only going to do a third fight once Golovkin is past his prime. Uh, I, I said that from the start. And... Uh, here we are, just like I said. So that's being discussed for the post uh schedule for Canelo. Either way, we'll watch. It's fun. Canelo's very popular. Everybody's going to tune in no matter who he fights. And so I, I think uh, we'll, we'll, we'll still tune in. But I think it's, uh, it's something that, uh, that uh, it'll be interesting to see. My mother's calling me on my cell phone. Moms always have the worst timing. No? Remember that commercial? But, um, but there's, uh, listen. Schedule can be, is is exciting either way. Whether Canelo's schedule, the April schedule, we're we're in, we're in. So that he's got to look good though to really make it interesting, to make it a sellable mar sellable marketing point to for uh, Canelo versus GGG. And naturally, he's got to win, not just look good. But I, I believe he's going to win based on what I've seen from Morata. I don't think he's he's going to be able to beat Golovkin. 